Ah, good morning, my beautiful garage gym. It's time for another glorious arm day. And my son's been playing with me. What is this? There's scratches all over my bar. Dang it, I paid Bolt Fitness like 79 bucks for this tight and curl bar. Now it's worthless. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna drop it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Texas Flex. Uh, so clearly, that's gonna be the last skit that I ever attempt on this channel. My uh, acting career should have died in high school. So now that you guys have that apology, today's video is all about, well, two things actually, because it's gonna be titled something about lifesavers for your garage gym. So the first thing is something I just got in is the Avmat uh, barbell pillows. But they look like this. They're very small and tiny and some would say, why? Why would you even pay for that? Just make it yourself. But uh, I'm lazy and I'm not handy at all. So uh, we're gonna try these out because um, some of my bars have been getting a little scratched up from the barbell holder I have over there from Yesquerol. Ideally, I would want another gun, uh, barbell rack, but I just don't have, I'm not willing to give up the wall space for just straight bars. So, and most of them are cheap anyways, uh, except for one of the barbells. So yeah, these, these will help a lot because my economy bar is getting all scratched up. And I know what you're thinking, it's just an economy bar, but still, you know, that's money that I invested. I want to have as much longevity for my garage gym as possible. Even though I didn't spend as much money as people who uh, bought Rogue stuff or Rep Fitness stuff, I still invested my hard earned money and I wanna make sure that it lasts as long as possible. So these are gonna be lifesavers for the garage gym because I'm only getting more barbells and that barbell holder just is not too kind on my bars and their sleeves. Well, the sleeves are gonna get scratched up anyways. Yes, but let that happen down the road, not initially when, you know, I, I just haven't even had the bar for a whole year. Well, I guess at this point it has been a whole year, but still, it's a little soon for it to be getting scratched up, especially since, you know, I went through the trouble of getting rid of all the iron plates in my gym so that uh, that way my bars wouldn't get scratched up. At this point, this seems essential. Uh, yeah, before I walk away, let's go ahead and try them. So this is my Titan Curl Bar from Bolt Fitness, and I know that's a little confusing because it's going on my Titan T2 uh, Power Rack from Titan Fitness. But anyways, uh, so let's try it without the bar pillow first. Yeah, it sounds pretty horrendous. Now, barbell pillow. Ooh, that sounded nice. Hope you guys heard that. Ooh, fancy. Not too bad. Let's go try it on the uh, barbell holder. All right, so this is the iron grip bar that I was talking about earlier that I got from a commercial gym. It's the Competition Series 15 kg bar. It retails for like 650 bucks or something like that. I got the price list from Iron Grip. Uh, this one is pretty beat up. Uh, but it's still a really good bar and it's perfect for my wife so you know and, and I got it for <laughs> I got it for 10 bucks so you know there's a deal if I've ever seen one anyway this is what it sounds like right? not too bad yeah. I was just talking about how I want longevity for my bars and I'm hitting freaking garage stuff all right so barbell pillow oh sh it doesn't even fit all right so now we'll put the barbell in. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, it's bouncy and like pretty good. I like it. Go to Admat, get your barbell pillows. The second thing that I want to talk about is right over there. So you just finished that lifting some heavy ass weight, like 135 pounds I have on my bar right now. You liberally apply chalk and now your bar is full of this stuff that just invites corrosion. What do you do? Easy answer. You get this 3-1 oil that you can get from Walmart at like two bucks, or you can get this off of Rogue Fitness's website. Uh, if you buy two other things, you get free shipping on it. It's about 10 bucks for this. Uh, so then whatever you add is just gonna add to your total, or you can just pay the shipping for this. 
Um, so finding a good nylon brush is pretty hard, I guess. I just went ahead and decided to buy this along with the other stuff that I have from Rogue so that that way I would get free shipping. But anyway, you can get this alone at Walmart for like two bucks and I'm sure you can find a nylon brush somewhere. Or you can go a little bit more on the expensive side and get the 360 barbell brush from Hybrid Athletics. It is $21.99 plus shipping. That brings you up to like 30 bucks for this thing. But in my opinion, I think it's totally worth it. I mean, you add $2 for the 3-1 oil, you're spending about $32 as opposed to the 10 bucks for this or you know whatever else you happen to get. But this is gonna save you some time, okay? So just to see the difference here, you'll go ahead and grab one side, you'll brush off the chalk, <laughs> whoops. Go ahead and apply some 3 in 1 oil. I like to be as liberal as possible so that that way my bar is nice and clean. And anyways, this is what it looks like when you try to brush with, you know, just a nylon brush. I've already scraped my fingers like twice. And maybe that's because I'm an idiot. But, you know, <laughs> at that point, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't blame me. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen, right? You're gonna scrape your finger at some point especially if there's like a lot of rust on your bar. Luckily, I take pretty good care of this bar. Um, so there's not gonna be a lot of rust on this bar. I paid a lot of money. I'm not <laughs> looking to have any nasty barbells from Rogue, okay? So that's what it looks like with the barbell brush. Now you do essentially the same thing on this side. Go ahead and wipe away any of the, you know, residue that's on there it's already looking pretty good and then of course again you'll liberally apply the three one oil and instead of having to you know do that whole thing you're just gonna brush up and down like so and before you know it the job is done and it does a decently good job at getting in there in the knurling and taking out that chalk, taking out any of that uh, residue, and that way you get a nice clean bar all around. So that's it for the video. Those are the two products that I wanted to mention. Let me go ahead and grab them real quick. Just off screen here. So again, the 360 barbell brush from Hybrid Athletics, and then the barbell pillow from Abmat. $12.99 plus shipping brings you pretty close to 20 bucks. And then the shipping on this brings you pretty close to $30. I'd say these are pretty good investments if you want some longevity in your garage gym. And you should, just like your fitness, you want everything to last. You want to be as athletic as possible for as long as possible. And that's exactly what you want for your garage gym equipment. Um, you know, treat it kindly because it's helping you achieve your goals and you spent a lot of money on it. Why not make it last? That's going to be it for the video. Those are the two products. I will see you guys at the next Flex.